What day is it today? Oh wait, it's Taylor Swift Tuesday. All Too Well by Taylor Swift and this song is off of her Red album and this is a track 5 song. It's a track 5. If you're a Swift, do you know what track 5 means? So for this tutorial, if you haven't noticed already, you're not going to need a capo. You're just going to need to be in standard tuning. So make sure your guitar is tuned up before you start and you're just going to need a guitar pick if you, you know, like using a guitar pick. You don't need a guitar pick. I prefer a guitar pick, but you do you. So this song is going to be fairly easy to learn because we have four chords that repeat in a single progression throughout the entire song, but we do have a couple of little like add-ons before you get into a chorus where there's just like a couple of the chords are kind of recycled a little bit and it like builds up and you'll hear that and I'll show you guys how to you know play that out. So before we get going with the song and all of our emotions we are going to go ahead and hop into a close-up and check out those chords. All right so for chords starting out we have a C major, a G major, an A minor, and our last chord is an F major. All right, so now that we have our chords down, we are going to get into strumming patterns, and this is where we are gonna work in that emotion. I'm gonna show you guys some really cool dynamics because I know Taylor gets a lot of criticism for having just really simple, easy four chord progression songs, but one thing Taylor is amazing at is taking a simple four chord progression song and just throwing dynamics into it and just making it sound like a freaking masterpiece. If you're not familiar with dynamics, I'm gonna be introducing you to something new today. All right, we're gonna start off easy and work our way up. So the first pattern is just a simple single down strum. So just take your C major, just like that, so beautiful. Really the only area I think that you'll need to use single down strums is mainly the bridge because it's just Tom won't like I'm paralyzed by it. Like to be my own self again, but I'm still trying to find it. So that's a part of the song that I highly recommend putting in single down strums just because it just fits the song so perfectly. But if you're a beginner and single down strums help you, you can just start with, you know, the beginning of the song. I walked through the door with you, it was cold, something about it felt like home somehow. So if you're a beginner and that's helpful to you, you can start there and you can work your way up to bigger and batter strumming patterns. <laughs> All right, our next strumming pattern is going to be a down, 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 up pattern. Down, 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 up. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and. So I'll just go ahead and play it through the progression. And you'll notice that you'll strum this pattern twice per chord. Down, down, down. pattern is perfect for the verses because it's mellow and you are telling a story in the verses and you don't want the strumming to overkill the vocals so if you're you know planning on singing and playing it. Now for our third and final strumming pattern this is where we are really just going to punch it up and just add in that emotion and this is going to be for the chorus so it's going to sound like this. So here we are Taylor Swift-like strumming pattern because usually when she gets into a song that's what she does is she accents certain strums and she just goes <laughs> and 
And if you want to put the cherry on top, you can just curl your hair and you can just like, just swing it everywhere on the accented strums. Should I do the Taylor Swift hair flips? I have to take my beanie off though. <sighs> All right, I'll do it. I'll give my best attempt. <laughs> I've never done this before. I'm kind of scared. I'm gonna move my phone so it doesn't go flying across the room. Sometimes she does like the front to back, she'll go. But then sometimes she'll go like. Ah, that one's harder because you have to like bring your head back up. And she even does the side to side one too. This is hard. How does she do these head flips? Seriously, they're a lot of work and I'm like afraid I'm gonna get some like whiplash or something like that. Maybe I should practice this. Do you guys want me to practice doing Taylor Swift hair flips while playing guitar and then when I get good at it, do you guys want me to like give you some like pro tips on how to how to do that? Because that'd be a pretty cool guitar lesson, I think. Put this beanie back on. Okay, I gotta make sure I do this right. See, it's like really weird that you you can't put it on like a normal beanie. I think that looks appropriate. I think it looks good. All right, so back to the strumming pattern. I'm gonna break this up and make it just really simple and really easy to follow because I know just watching it and hearing it can make it just sound really complex. Um, but it's actually, it's really easy once you get the hang of it. So it's, think of it as two sets of four down strums. So the first chunk is just four down strums. The second chunk is four down strums and then an up strum at the end. And so you're gonna count that as one, two, three, four, then one, two, three, four, and. So just practice it like that, just go down, 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 up. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and. That's basically what that pattern is just like the bare bones of it. So just muting it, down, 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 up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and. Now, what we're going to do to make this a solid, emotional, just amazing strumming pattern is that we are going to, well first, I'll just show you how it'll sound before we add in the seasonings and spices. So it's gonna sound like this. That's before adding in any of the accents. Now, what you're gonna do is on that fourth down strum, so you have one, two, three, four. That fourth one is gonna be a banger. It's just gonna be just like that. Basically, you are going to accent that strumming pattern. So down, 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 down. so it'll sound like this. You see how that makes such a huge difference and how it just adds in that emotion to your strumming, to your guitar playing, and when you play it along with the actual track, you'll get a feel for it, it's, it's amazing. And like I said, this is for the chorus pattern, but it also works really, really well um, after the line that's, um, and you're sure even now. So leading in to that line, so it's like that in-between 
interlude instrumental part it's just so amazing so add it in there as well that's how i'm going to play it when i show you guys the playthrough all right so we've covered everything you guys are going to need to know for how to play all too well so we're going to go ahead and get into a full playthrough of this song so feel free to play along with me you guys that part I should probably teach that <laughs> okay so I did mention earlier on that we have a single four chord progression C major to G major to A minor to F major but it does change in one part of the song I said that some of the chords do get recycled and that happens in the pre-chorus so you'll probably notice that when I was going and I know it's long gone and the magic's not here no more that might be okay but I'm Instead of going to F major, which, you know, normally we would do in the progression, we instead skip over, we go back to G major. So we go C major to G major to A minor, you know, almost like normal. Then instead G major, and then we go F major, G major, A minor, and then G major one more time. And then it goes into the chorus. So I'll go ahead and play that through for you guys um, one time through and then I'll go ahead and repeat it and take it through the rest of the song. And I know it's long gone and the magic's not here no more And I might be okay but I'm not it all It's here we are again! So then it goes right into the chorus. So I'm going to go ahead and back it up one more time, but I'm just going to continue on with the playthrough. In a it's long gone and the magic's not here no more. It might be okay, but I'm not found it all. It's there we are again on that little town street. We almost ran
to be my own self again But I'm still trying to find it After that shirt days and nights when you made me your own Now you melt back my things And I walk home alone But you keep my own scar from I need to this is a very I'm so sorry to like stop this but this is such an emotional song and like I can't even relate to the entire song but I can relate to like tiny bits and pieces but even though I can't relate to like every single part that I'm singing I still like feel it and I think it's why it's a favorite among many Swifties is because it's it's that song um, and it's the track five of track fives so um, I'm gonna try to end the song um, the proper way. So where did I even leave off? Um, I had some lots like I'm paralyzed by it, like to be my own self again, but I'm still trying to find it after pleasure days and nights when you made me your own. Now you mail back my things and I walk home alone, but you keep my own That was crazy. I've never had that ever sitting down and teaching a song before. I've never experienced that feeling. Um, that's crazy. All right, so that's how you play All Too Well by Taylor Swift. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below what you would like to see next on a Taylor Swift Tuesday. Literally anything Taylor Swift has worked on is fair game. So leave your requests below and that is it. So I wanna thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you guys next time. Bye.